Viewing your photos inside of Photoshop Elements is one of the critical skills that you'll need to be able to master in order to work effectively within the organizer. First things first, we need to bring some photos into the catalog here in order to be able to see what viewing options we have available. So I'm gonna go up to the file menu and I'm gonna choose get photos and videos. Now from here, I'm gonna choose from files and folders. That's gonna open up a little dialog that asks me where my photos are located. Now I know mine are on the desktop and they're within the project files folder. So I'm gonna double click on that, and come into chapter three, and here are all my files. Now what I need to do is I need to select all of these. So I'm gonna click on the first one, I'm gonna hold down shift on the keyboard, and come down to the last one and click on that. That allows me to select a continuous row of images. And now that they're selected, all I need to do is click on get photos. Photoshop Elements will render the thumbnail previews for the images that I just selected. And this little dialog will appear. You just need to press OK to that. We're going to take a closer look at importing our files from our desktop later on in more detail in another chapter called Importing Photos. For now though, let's take a look at our viewing options. If we come up to the bar up the top here, the options bar, you'll notice that we have a little thumbnail slider. If I hover over that, that says that we're going to adjust the size of the thumbnail. If I drag that to the right, the thumbnails will get bigger. If I drag it to the left, they'll get smaller again. If I decide not to use the slider, I can also click this little icon here to make the images larger, and that takes the images to their maximum, and click on this option here, which takes them to their smallest view. You'll notice when I'm in the smallest view, the only thing I can see underneath as far as information goes is the date. If I actually decide to make the thumbnails a little bit larger, you can see I get all sorts of other options. I can see the date, I can see the time, also the file name, and I can see I have the option to give this image a star rating if I like as well. So that's pretty handy. Now if you decide you wanna make your images larger, but you don't wanna see this information, all you need to do is click on details. If I click on that, all the information has now removed itself. The advantage of this is I can scroll back up and it's sort of clutter free and I don't get any of that rubbish in there. But I'm gonna turn that back on and I'm gonna scroll back down just so I can see most of my images within the view so I can see them quite easily at a glance. You'll notice at the top here we have a view menu. This is where we can do all sorts of things in regards to viewing our images. You can see we have refresh. That'll make sure that we have a most up-to-date view of the images. Didn't do anything for me here now though, because there's nothing that needed to be refreshed. I'm gonna come back up to view and show you that we can also turn details off here. We can turn off the ability to show our file names. So if I check that, the file names have now removed, but I am seeing the date and time, and I'm still seeing the rating options available. So I'll come back and turn that back on. Another option that I quite like is up in the view menu and it's called show grid lines. If I do this, it puts a nice little grid in between all my images, which just helps me align my eyes to what I'm actually looking at. So you might wanna take advantage of that. I'll turn that back off again though for now. If I come back up to view and turn off show borders around thumbnails, what you'll notice is there's no longer a white little preview around my images. I'll turn that back on once again. We also have some other options up here as far as displaying goes. If I choose this little display menu item here, you'll see at the moment we're in thumbnail view. We do have two other options here though that I wanna take a look at as well. We have import batch and if I select that, you can see it tells us that the imported photos were from the, from the hard drive on the 5th the 16th, 2009 at 1.24 p.m. So that's quite handy. If I had other photos within here that were imported on different dates, I get another bar and that'll tell me when those particular photos came in as well. I'm going to come back up to the display little button here and I'm going to click on folder location. This is another great way for viewing your files. It also gives you the location where they are sitting on the desktop right now, as you can see there. And I do get the option to toggle open my folders and find any particular files that are currently on my system or anywhere else that I want to work on. So as you can see here, I've now located my project files and here is chapter three and I'm seeing all the files within that folder. For now though, I'm going to go back to the default view by clicking display and coming down to thumbnail view. And this is where we're gonna work throughout our time together. 